Greetings, and this session from Ceramic Studios is going to require your utmost imagination and your deepest sense of relaxation that you can create for yourself now simply by imagining that ultimate state of being utterly relaxed and totally in tune with yourself to the most highest degree because this is a very intense notion that we suggest to you today through a quantum super consciousness and no worry even the fact that it is so intense to imagine what we are about to do for your mind it is easier than ever the biggest result that we will ever make for you here you can be doing that with the least amount of effort it is the contradictory response that can be created for your brain and it's the opposite of what we normally think that much effort goes into big results but today the biggest results are coming from the smallest efforts because you know the subconscious mind does things in an effortless way and we lead the subconscious mind with our conscious mind and the thoughts that we think and habitually program into our mind that the subconscious mind acts on these things in our beliefs that become reality so now even deeper you may go into that supremely relaxed state and it doesn't matter if you are in a trance now or if you are not in a trance it doesn't matter because the suggestions either way will sink deeply into your mind whether you know they are sinking into your mind or not it doesn't really matter you just deep relax more so calm so good and can you imagine the best benefit that you can get from this session i think you can already be in a supremely relaxed trance state that you can recall from the past and recall from the future of how you will be feeling as you choose to do so because now your quantum mind has this power to experience the benefit of all learning potential the highest learning potential possible because you know that the universe is full of extraordinary possibilities and you know that the mind is capable of so very much more than any human being fully even understands because they say that we only use 10% of our brain and what is the other 90% doing? Well, I imagine it is still working to a little extent could it be the subconscious mind but can we tap into those powers and has anybody ever tapped into those powers now well i knew of a book that talked about yogis and such and they meditate and they hone their mental skills through the physical control of their bodies like when they meditate and when they really focus their mind on the outcome that they want to achieve the goal of superhuman mental abilities they achieved fantastic results in this book they said with the yogic powers controlling matter controlling the physical body influencing the health of the body and influencing the attitudes and thoughts and feelings and the perceptions in other people and even being able to communicate with other people through the mental powers like a form of telepathy is that possible or even the most outrageous claims of allowing oneself to appear in two places at one time and it makes little sense to the conscious observer to even begin to imagine that these things are possible for a mere human mind to accomplish yet in this book 
They so blatantly affirm, claiming this is true human potential that is possible to achieve anything, as if I've even heard someone say about quantum theories and quantum physics that the universe is so full of the unknown. And there are questions that come up that say, if we do not understand fully the universe on a quantum level. Now, scientists today are even baffled still at the dichotomy between the mind and the brain and where does consciousness come from? How is it possible that a brain can produce conscious thought? And where is the mind? We still struggle with knowing these things because some people claim that it is the brain that is the vehicle of the mind or that it is the mind that creates the brain. Or perhaps the mind can exist anywhere within the body and the brain merely facilitates certain functions, but really the mind exists in the body. And as certain quantum physicists claim that the physical reality can potentially exist simultaneously in every place at once or in different places, now that may not make much sense, to any normal human being, I might assume now that you are more than a normal human being because every person is super natural, meaning that the natural world is much more super than we realize those powers if you can tap now deep into your mind and unleash those super yogic lessons that these yogic masters have learned through meditation and through concentration and building their mental facilities the powers that they gain that seem superhuman when you know someone says a christ consciousness or a buddha consciousness, somewhat of a yogi consciousness that means to be experiencing daily that enlightened state of being. And it's not so difficult to understand the feeling that everything is okay, always being okay and in communion with the universal mind that allows all things to go your way and anything that causes friction in your life just aids you in your learning. And mostly everything is so smooth because it is your perception. And the subconscious mind creating that reality for you in very unexpected ways. Feeling okay when you normally would feel differently. And it's hard to imagine why or how it's happening, but you can just notice that peace that resides deep within the core of your being and perhaps more aware of the heart chakra and the pleasure that you feel radiating through all of your body, lighter, more carefree, and the problems that you once had just clearing up so beautifully until your problems just seem to melt away into a new sense of ease for you that can be experiencing that transcendence, that transcendental quality of the yogic masters that have achieved this because all human beings have that potential and it's just a state of mind that you can achieve by relaxing even more. And when you go into a meditative state, becoming more aware of what that feels like, those instantaneous gracious blessings that come upon you, that peace of mind that activates the law of attraction to be sending exactly what you need into your life in the exact right way to help you be achieving all your 
goals and the highest ambition that is stemmed from that loving communion that you have with the divine and the universal consciousness and the universal mind that you are one with because you are mind and in your body it is one with the universe and this creates that ultimate peace that is the base of all the powers that you now have to come and realizing more and more every day now that your mental powers can grow and an ultimate quantum consciousness mind power that is superhuman you are beginning the future of normal human interactions because have you ever had an experience where you thought of someone and just as you did they called or some sort of coincidence like that where you just had an extra sensory perception pertaining to maybe another person and the thoughts they were thinking because you know that our minds are like radio waves and if you train your mind now to pick up and be in tune with those frequencies of other people just the way you wish you can pick up consciously or unconsciously in just the right way the meaning of their communication sent out to you and selectively understand what they are thinking or what they are feeling in the most relevant way to the highest benefit of all people and use that to your own abilities to make life a better place and to make the world a much better place by becoming a mind reader of sorts you understand telepathy more and more aware increasing the sensitivity of how other people react to you and the way you affect other people becoming more aware consciously of how you affect the world directly even with just your very presence and whether it's your mental thoughts or if it's just the nature of your heart chakra a feeling that you have deep inside you can affect the world around you and whether that is influencing the way other people will feel based on the way you feel for the benefit of all people you might even find yourself being able to move objects with your mind like using the force that's right it's amazing that you could actually use the powers of your mind and the super quantum mind that you now have to move objects with just mental force because mental exertion is energy in just the same way that pushing with physical force is energy because physical nature is purely energy to begin with and your mental thoughts they are energy so strong so more powerful now that yes that same force exerted by laws of science can move objects and cause movement in other people because they will feel those waves those ripples just like sound waves that move the air particles and vibrate the eardrums relating to the brain of sensation and a meaning your mind does the same thing on the eardrum of other people's minds your thoughts vibrate the subtle substance in the universe that resonates in the eardrum of the mind creating a communication to other people and creating a communication to the consciousness of the inanimate objects surrounding you have this ability now that the mind is so powerful it can reach the highest heights of your imagination i had a mentor who said to me that anything that you can imagine anything at all it exists in some other dimension or some facet of reality because we realize what is the imagination it exists somewhere in our mind and so it is out there in existence you cannot imagine something that is not within existence already so whether it is an amazing power an amazing way to communicate or an ability if it's healing in an unusual manner some sort of supernatural seeming feat of recovery or an ability 
that you can create that in your imagination. It is possible for you now becoming more and more your reality and ability if you are teleporting your being to other places or astrally projecting your being through your dreams into other places into the cosmos or even other places in the world or other places like planets and meeting other beings. There are other beings out there in the universe perhaps that you can communicate with now in any way you like, whatever your imagination believes in that is possible for your mind to achieve the absolute ultimate heights of absurdity to imagine having those powers of the super quantum conscious mind imagining yourself using the full 100% powers of your mind and of your brain, allowing your consciousness to spread and expand ever increasingly into the vastness of whatever you imagine you can create in your mind that super manifestation of ultimate transcendence ultimate knowledge being connected with the source of all intelligence and all knowledge anything that you can imagine being capable of doing with your mind and your body you now have those super transcendental powers that begin with the ultimate state of peace and harmony that you will become more aware of waking up you will just feel so at peace that you will not even understand why or how it is possible to feel so good, to feel so stable, to feel so centered, to feel so calm, to feel so optimistic about life and loving life. And from this stable base, you will realize more and more how you affect other people and the extreme influence that you now have in the world regarding how other people respond and react to you and the actions that they choose to do to benefit the world in a positive way. And when you move people emotionally, you move them physically and you move objects physically with your mind using the force and any sort of ability that you can imagine the mind is capable of creating it because imagination is the doorway to realms that exist in the universe because the universe is full of infinite possibilities that the human mind casually is only just beginning to understand now you are the future being the model of the human being that is infinitely more so than ever the next generation in human evolution with a consciousness so vast so open in the super quantum understandings that now are yours realizing more and more the power of your mind and the power of attraction to bring into your life the circumstances that you believe and feel based on that base of ultimate okay feeling secure and peace which booms you granting that transcendental power being able to communicate in subtle ways you will realize that when you think of others with your intention that they will know that it is you and that you will know it is they and all things will only improve this ability in your mind you will grow this ability more and more no matter what is in the background no matter what is in your way these obstacles just dissolve and make you stronger and more resilient now growing more and more each day becoming this way and you will know the abundance you will know the blessings you will know the gift is yours when you awaken from this session feeling ever more 
refreshed. And if you had fallen asleep and awakened, realizing that you had been asleep, you will know that you are more awake than ever before, feeling gracious, grateful, and content for your subconscious quantum genius power and mind that is so deeply yours now as a gift from the cosmic universal intelligence that bestows upon you the ultimate blessing of being your highest self. And now, you may awaken gradually from this trance in your own time, or lie there in the good feeling state to allow these changes in the learning to ingrain itself even deeper into your mind, just enjoying that deep, relaxed trance state, and know that each time you become more and more this way for the benefit of all people and the consciousness and the world in general to be making much more beautiful life from now on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been much fun. So to be enjoying yourself more, Continue on from Ceramic Studios. This has been Lion.